Hello everybody. Welcome to year two, three, and four. So I wanted to, if I could, I wish I could be in here to kind of talk to you, but obviously I'm in the other room right now, um, kind of talking to our year one students, um, of which you were in there at one point. Um, well, I wanted to just kind of introduce you things, kind of let you know how things kind of run a little bit, even if you had um, your year two last, yeah, last semester, last year, things change, um, kind of things, kind of depending on how students, you know, act you know, during class, um, I always have to kind of modify things. Um, so I just want to kind of go over um, different things that um, that might have changed, uh, maybe since last time you had it. Um, well, first off, you know, this is our cubby area. Um, this did get finished this year, finally. Um, this is my drawing section. So this is where you're going to be grabbing your toolbox. You can grab any one you want. You just take the stuff out um, and you can have a seat anywhere in class. You know, painting is on this side. Um, now, if you are art, metals, and jewelry, um, you'll be over going over to the cabinets, and the top sections are yours. Um, and those are larger toolboxes. So I should be able to fit one or two in, in a cubby for right now, um, but you can kind of grab that. If you are a sculpture student, um, you know, we have the, the shelving over here um, that you can grab a shelf. Um, and also, you have the same tools right now as sculpture, uh, sculpture One does. So any of the lockers over there, you can grab that tape Get your name on that um, and claim it. You know, if you are a pottery student, um, you'll be going over to the, the shelving over, you know, there where the pottery stuff is at. And your section is the whole um, up and down area. On the very top, you're going to see um, red um, buckets. Those are for year two students. And the black ones are for year three students. Okay. So that's where all your supplies are at. Now, you might say, well, where, where's the worksheets at? Where's all our stuff? That's where this comes in. Um, I just finished this up um, a couple days ago. In these areas, this is where I'm going to be keeping your project supplies that are unique to your, your project that you're doing. Um, you're going to see this is drawing two projects, drawing three projects, painting two, painting three, our metals and jewelry two, our metals and jewelry three, sculpture two, sculpture three. There is no year four because your stuff is always, always completely independent. You know, so I'm never going to have anything very specific for you. But you're going to come over here even today and you're going to grab the sheet that goes along with your toolbox you know if you have a, a sheet for your toolbox or you might be jumping into your project right away depending on the class you have okay um, so look in here find your section grab one of those sheets of paper that's all you that's always your current stuff um, up top here you're going to see like um, our most jewelry drawing painting and then if i pull this out this is painting um, the, the blue one is our year three, um, and the red one is our year two. These are all of our past stuff. So if for some reason you fell behind on a project or something like that, and you need to go back and grab something, you can always grab this. <clears throat> I always have some scrap paper over here, kind of vertically. Um, your name tags are going to be in this area, you know, blank name tags if I haven't made them up yet, you know, are right there. Um, and then your graded sheets are on the very bottom. So I, when I grade stuff, I throw them right in here. It's up to you to kind of grab them. And then lastly, our competition and our choice uh, rubrics are in there, which I'll be going over in class more later on. Um, a couple things I wanted to, to emphasize, and then we're going to switch over to Schoology. I'm going to kind of show you some new things I changed in there. Um, a couple policy changes. Um, one is you still have your week grace period. So if I say a project is due on you know, Friday the 10th, um, you still have a full week to be able to get that in past the due date. But if I do not have it in by 3.30 on Friday that following week, it will go down 5%, okay? Um, if, it, if you still do not turn it in the week after that, it's gonna go down another 5%, so it's gonna go down 10, and then 15, and then, and then 20 and 25, until, until we're at the end of the quarter and, we're in, in, and if you haven't turned it in, you just get a zero on the project. Um, at your level, um, you need to be able to start getting ready, especially if you want to go into any kind of a career, whether it's art or not, that if a boss tells you, I need this document, you know, by 3.30 today, um, you need to get it in by 3.30 today, well, you might not have a job. Um, and I want to emphasize a little more at your level because you should be more advanced you know, and be ready for that step, you know, and have those expectations. So if you go to a tech school or you go to college, you know, and your professor says you need it at this date, you know, you need to turn it in. I mean, and even some of your classes you have right now, some of your teachers are not very 
willing to bend you know, on some things because they're also trying to get you ready for kind of the real world. Um, and I just don't feel like if you can't meet a deadline, there's going to be a consequence to it from now on, okay? Even, even though I'm giving you an extra week, because I understand things happen, okay? And I still want you to prioritize, but you have to, but this class does need to become more of a priority rather than turning all your projects in at the end of the quarter, okay? And then they're still not very good because you rushed it. And you're, if you make it in here, you are very talented, okay? You're really good with your art, um, you know, and, and you just sometimes you just need to buckle down a little bit and you might have to prioritize this a little bit more. You know, and if you're not if you're not ready for that, you know, this might not be the class for you. Okay, five percent is not going to kill your grade. Ten percent, yeah, maybe because that's that's where I start. So you might get it like an eighty-five, or you might get it like a seventy. You know, depending on how many points you might lose on something, because then that that comes off of it. Um, so just be aware that there is a consequence if I do not get it in the week after. Okay, so that applies that if you're sick or you're gone, that is already included you know, in that grace period. So I'm not gonna keep adding more time onto that. Um, so just make sure on that. The second thing is, is that, you know, this, when you're in this class, um, it is your art time. A big reason why students fall behind in this class, I'm noticing more and more, is they're working on their science. They're working on their biology. You know, they're working on their math or some other thing, you know, during our class time. It's like, yeah, that's why you're getting stressed out. Um, because you're choosing, you're getting mad at me because you're choosing to work on a different class during your art time, you know, and then, and then you get mad. It's like, well, we, you know, I haven't even started the project yet. Let's do next week already. Um, yeah, because you, you haven't been working on it. Um, so from now on, you have to be working on your project in class. Okay. If you are not, then you're, you're sacrificing a 5% off your final project from now on. Okay. Now, there are exceptions, always gonna be exceptions, okay? I'm really kind of going after those who, who, who just take it to an extreme, okay? You say, Mr. Butchin, you gotta come tell me, okay? If I come in here, you know, and see that you have your, your homework out every single day and I have to say something, that's when, you're gonna, that's when you're gonna lose those points, okay? If you come in and you say, hey, Mr. Butcher, I have a, I have a test next hour, um, I wasn't able to study for it, can I study it for today? I'll probably say, yeah, that's fine. When can you make up that time? Or I might say, and I, I, don't, I don't want to, but I might have to come up with some kind of a document where maybe once a month I can give you a free day, you know, kind of thing, and, and we can kind of go from there. But, uh, but I know things happen, you know, at the same time. So I don't want to be real hardcore about it, you know, but people have been taking advantage of it too much, you know, so, so it's, gotta, it's gotta stop. Um, so that's, that's a big change with everything. Um, other than that, um, we still have our choice projects, you know, this quarter, um, and then you have a competition project next quarter. So that's on top of your, your normal workload. This is an advanced class, okay? There is gonna be more work, you know, involved with it. Um, we don't spend as much time prepping things like we do in year one, so a lot of times there might be a short exercise that shouldn't take very long. You whip that out, you start your project right away. So there is, more time for you to work in your project versus me kind of talking, except right now, <laughs> you know, constantly about, about stuff. So you do have more time in class. It's just, are you disciplined enough to stay focused with it? You know, is, is kind of the big question um, on stuff. You know, it's, it's great to have friends in class. I hope you do. Um, but at the same time, you need to support each other and get on each other's case and say, hey, you know, wh where are you at? You know, do you need help on something or, or whatever, okay? Every Monday, you know, we gather around, you know, our, our black table. I'm going to have a whiteboard that's going to lay out every class and where you should be at. If you are not meeting those deadlines, you need to figure it out, okay, in terms of should I take this home? Should I come in prior time? Should I come in during a study hall um, with that? When we are, when a project is, is done, is due, and we start a new project, you don't keep working on your old one in class, okay? That one goes home. Or that one stays here and you work on it during your pride time or your study hall, okay? You do not work on that during class. You're just gonna fall behind on that one. You're just gonna get as confused because I'm gonna be going over and, and explaining questions when people have them. And you're not even gonna be at, at any of the steps you're supposed to be at, okay? So, so make sure that if you fall behind our project, take it home, leave it here and work on outside class. But we, we, we work in class on the current project, okay? We, that's what we do. 
Um, exceptions, there's always exceptions. It's like, I just need to mat it or I just need to frame it. Yeah, then that's fine, you know, kind of thing. But, but then again, there's time you're taking away from your current project. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to um, talk too much, but uh, there's some big things I need to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm gonna switch this off. I'm gonna get uh, Schoology up and I'm gonna show you how things have, are, are also changing that, okay? Okay, this is the way that Schoology is gonna be laid out this, this semester. Um, and so there are some changes. Uh, first off, looking at the very top, you know, you should, I've already probably told you when you walked in, go to the very first link, you know, watch, you know, this link right here, you know, watch me your first day um, kind of thing. And then you just kind of go from that. Um, and then you have your, um, after that, you start getting into your project. So I always try to make sure that, you know, the very first thing, if you click on it, you know, it's going to be this, that standard, um, you know, the, I call it directions and calendar page that, um, kind of lay out, you know, step by step what you should be doing. Okay, so you just kind of go through that. And as long as you do step one, and then you do it, <laughs> and you do step two, and then step three, you, you'll be perfectly fine. It's the problem I get into um, with students sometimes um, is they want to skip, you know, a step, you know, or they're trying to rush it because they fell behind, you know, and then everything gets screwed up. Um, another big thing, uh, big change is I do have a whiteboard. Um, so I'm no longer going to have the dates on here. Um, but the whiteboard will be a quicker access for, for us to kind of see where we should be at. Um, same thing, you know, with, with a due date, it will not be on this anymore. Um, it'll be on the whiteboard and on Schoology. Uh, looking, uh, coming back over. Um, so I always have the current project, you know, right here with the folder, you know, and then that part right there. Now, something that one of my groups um, recommended is that to give you a chance to see all of your projects, you know, in one shot. So I'm labeling them in the order that we're going to do them. Um, so you can always click and check it. Now, now just because it's on here doesn't mean it's exactly ready to go. Okay. And it doesn't mean necessarily that you can work ahead on the project. You can start generating ideas and stuff like that if you really wanted to, if you, if you watch the video. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to have everything set up perfectly. Okay. Um, it'll be, it'll be ready and available for you to just kind of, kind of glance at. You know, if you wanted to do it, you know, I have the competition project here, you know, that's for fourth quarter. Um, I have your choice project down here, you know, that's for, you know, third quarter or, or first quarter, depending on when you're watching this. Um, and then we, and we also have extra credit that you can always kind of do. So you have this whole section now, and then miscellaneous will just be, um, things that like classroom expectations, you know, I might have something in there for, for the next quarter that we have. Um, I might have a zoom link on there if we need to use it for something. Miscellaneous is just that. It's just miscellaneous stuff. You know, you know, watch your calendar, you know, see when things are coming up. Um, sometimes I'll start putting stuff in actually for next quarter, you know, kind of thing if, I, if I'm getting that, that head on stuff. But, but this is kind of a significant change because you can see everything that we're doing. Okay. Remember, we don't turn anything on Kami. We really don't do anything virtually, you know, aside from uh, sometimes I might have a specific Google Doc I might want you to put an idea on. You know, we have you know, on, on here, you know, when, within the projects themselves, you know, there'll usually be a link uh, for those transparency requests, things where you might want a transparency. Um, and again, that's not quite for drawing, you know, that's for a painting and that's for sculpture um, kind of stuff. But drawing, you guys are focused on your drawing skills, you know, so we don't project, you know, anything in your, in your class. Um, very rare occasion, <laughs> I should say, there's always an exception. Uh, very rare occasion, but 99.9% .9 of the time we don't, you know, because your focus is on your drawing skills. Okay. Um, other than that, everything else is the same. You know, I just wanted to kind of lay that out for you. So let me know if you have any questions and good luck on your project and welcome to year two, three, or four. Okay. Thanks a lot.